Hi everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel and another floss tube episode or weekly update. Today I have a special episode for you. We are going to be doing my 2020 three going into 2024 whip parade and talk about 2024 plans as well as the book of days and kind of my I hate to say plan for the year plans change but my overall outlook and goals for 2024 so we are going to dive in first to the whip parade um We'll see how many whips we end up with. Uh, I'll probably have it across the screen here <laughs> by the time you see it. Uh, so we'll talk about the whips. Um, I'm going to tell you about some whips that are going to be leaving for whatever reason. Uh, there's not very many. I've already gone through everything and prepped for the live or live for the video. So. I know, you know, what I have and what isn't here. Some, I will also say some things that I have started stitching already have been removed uh, way before this. So I didn't include those because quite frankly, they're all bagged and stuff to be given away. So I didn't even include any of that. Um, if I have something kitted, I am not counting that as a whip. If there's no stitches in the fabric, that is not a whip for me. Uh, that'll kind of pare down what we got going on here today. Um, then I do have some, uh, a fun little opening, Advent opening that I want to share with you if it works out. If it doesn't work out, I'll have cut this out of the video. <laughs> uh, but I had a dear friend send the most amazing gift for Christmas and I am going to share the opening of all of those items and then we'll talk a little bit about that. And finally today, I have some giveaways and giveaway winners to announce. So this is not the normal floss tube, you know, where I'm sharing whips and sals and, and all of that good stuff and FFOs and finishes. It's a whip parade, so it's a special edition floss tube today. Um, I kind of thought I would film two separate ones. And then ultimately I decided, you know what, let's do the whip parade this week and I will do a more of a regular episode and update next week. So without further ado, let's jump in to did it into today's episode. So we are going to do some winter whips first. And we are going to start, these are not in order of oldest to newest or anything like that, but instead these are going to be more just kind of in order by season. So I have put in, I'm sorry, I did not iron. Don't come, don't come after me. I was actually working on this one. Ultimately, I decided it would be better to get a video filmed than not to get a video filmed at all. <laughs> so this is my newest whip. This was my Christmas Day start. This is Plum Street Samplers Winter Moon. This is an exclu exclusive from Country Sampler. Country Sampler. I have the hiccups. That's amazing. And I started in the upper left corner, as I often do. And I worked my way kind of over to the roof of the house. And then I uh, stitched the bunny. Kind of working this way and then down. You'll notice I outlined my trees. Anyway, that was kind of, this is my first whip. This is stitched on 36 count salt bush using the called for floss. I bought mine as a kit from Country Sampler. You can get a 36 or a 40. I believe it is still available and I will have links down in the description if you are interested. But this again is Winter Moon by Plum Street Samplers. Next we have 
a start from the 12 by 12 that I did over a year ago. And this is why I knew that this wasn't going to work for me. This is January by Emily Call Stitching. And this is what I got stitched. I, I know why I haven't come back to this one. I love this and I do want to stitch this. However, I am not crazy about the fabric. Um, and that is just because my, my style has changed or the fabric, my pre my preferred fabric has changed. This is 28 count hazy gray by fabric flare. This is an even weave. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to offer this, um, this was a PDF, so I can't share this with you, but I am going to offer this and the rest of the fabric just as a giveaway, if anyone wants to stitch this, I would happily gift it to you. There's a ton of fabric left in here, but if you have the chart and you would like to finish stitching this, that would be amazing. So again, this was January by Emily Call Stitching, and it's 28 count hazy gray dyed effect. Next up, this was another 12 by 12 start that I never came back to. This is Snow Place Like Home by Primrose Cottage. And this was in their Sip and Stitch. And again, this is another case of, I do love this. This is the... I believe 25 count mushroom Lugana. I have stitched a lot of things on this and you're going to see several things. I do think I will more than likely finish stitching this one because I have stitched a lot of this stuff on this and this would probably take no time at all. I would, we'll see about adding this. I've really kind of moved on to my Valentine planning, but we shall see. I may try to incorporate this. But again, this is Snow Place Like Home by Primrose Cottage. It's absolutely adorable. Valentine's Whips are next. You'll see we're going seasonally by the um, season or holiday. So next up, I have Love Potion by Fat Quarter Shop. This was a mystery stitch along that was last year. I have half of this done. So this will be pulled to be put with my Valentine's stitching that I will work on. I already know I want to make this into a pillow and I want to get this finished for Valentine's decor this year. You can buy this PDF from Fat Quarter Shop right now. Um, the whole thing is out so you don't have to wait. I did stitch mine on 36 count milk and honey by fiber on a whim. So I chose a different fabric than they stitched theirs on white. I did use all the called for over dyes and I love it. You can definitely see the over dyes in here. This is going to be really pretty. I like it on this fabric a lot. So again, 36 count milk and honey by fiber on a whim. One strand over two for this one. I should have mentioned, if I have a 36 or a 40 that I'm showing you, it's one strand over two. If I have stitched on 25, 28, or 32, it's two strands over two. Unless I say different, but I don't think that anything I'm sharing today is different than that. And that was my only Valentine whip. Let's do some Easter and spring whips. I have Hop To It by Annie B's Folk Art. I love this stitch. <laughs> I love this little bunny. Um, 
So this will be perfect for my, I will finish stitching this for my Easter and spring stitching. I thought this chart was absolutely adorable. I know that I stitched this on the called for fabric. I don't love the fabric. I will tell you that, but I'm going to finish stitching it. Uh, it's small. This is 28 count green sapphire linen by Zweigart. Uh, I like the fabric. I just don't like the count. I would have stitched on something, a smaller or a higher count fabric for a smaller finish, but my style changed a lot. And it's really fun to see from the beginning of 2023 to the end of 2023 and beyond. My preference is 36 or 40 now. So again, hop to it by Annie B's Folk Art. And I believe that is my only Easter whip. Let's do some summer whips and that would include summer or patriotic. First up, I have Watermelon Summer from Cherry Hill Stitchery. I am stitching this on a 36 count fabric, aren't I? Yes. So it's going to be tiny and I chose a green, which I am loving this. I just, you know, the season ended and I put this away. This is 36 count water spirit by Seraphim. One strand over two. It's so cute. And there are additional charts that coordinate with this. So I am going to be stitching those this summer as well. And if you watched my finish parade, which I will link right up here in the corner right now. If you watch that, then you saw my other finish for the Cherry Hill Stitchery summer chart that had a watermelon, the sweet summer one, that I'm turning into a project bag. So look for that project bag tutorial. These cuties are gonna live in there once I get that made. And I think that'll be a, a really fun way to utilize that bigger stitch that was stitched on 25 count mushroom um, and also get these done for the summertime. Next up, we have Amber Waves Berry by Erica Michaels. This was an exclusive to my now closed LNS in Wichita, Kansas, which was called Heart's Desire. Um, I don't know that this is available, but Erica Michaels has tons of berries, but I live in Kansas which is why we've got the, the amber waves of grain. Uh, you know, we, lots of, my dad was a wheat farmer for years, so <laughs> this was very special to me. I can tell you this is a mystery fabric. I started this. This would not take any time at all to stitch if I would just sit down and do it. Um, so this is stitched, yeah, never mind. I thought I didn't have it. It is a mystery. This came in a kit. So everything for this came in the kit, um, including the little pins from just another button company. This was from 2021. So that we got the, the little pen, get the floss, and then I got the fabric in it. So um, I'm not exactly sure what this is. The called for... was 36. So I'm guessing this is a 36. I'm ha I will be happy to get back to this one during the summer. Okay, next up, we do have from the Summer Memories book from Susan Aki. So this book was released last year at that quarter shop, The Freedom Flowers. And here is what I am stitching. And this, I had restarted. Um, it was, it was kind of a disaster. Do you guys remember that? <laughs> this was, but I'm loving it. I love it on this. It's kind of funny and moody on this fabric, which I think is kind of fun. This is 32 count pewter Lugana by Color and Cotton. And I am using two strands over two with my own color and cotton conversion for this. And let's just look at that because it's right here. Here's kind of all those colors pulled. 
anyhow, I this would be done. It's close to being done, but it would be done if I would just sit down and work on it. So that is Freedom Flowers. And I think that is it for summer. You guys will definitely know that I like stitching fall, Halloween, and Christmas. <laughs> so let's do some fall whips next. First up, we have Cherry Hill Stitchery Autumn Wish. This was my Thanksgiving 2022 start, and I never picked it up again. I don't know why, and I don't think I'll restart it. It is on a, a pretty big count fabric. I believe it's 28 count vintage country mocha by Zweigart. Um, and the reason is I think it will be really pretty as a long pillow. So I am going to go ahead and stitch it on this count. I have stitched a lot of Cherry Hill stitchery on vintage country mocha and I really like it for whatever reason. Anyway, I just need to get back to that one as well. But again, that is an Autumn Wish by Cherry Hill Stitchery. I have lots of Cherry Hill Stitchery Autumn charts I'd like to stitch. Okay, next we have a new start for me from this year, which was Hello Autumn by Teresa Kogut. So here is the book. This was a new release this year. This was my birthday start for 20. 23. I want to have this finished by my birthday this year and I got a ways to go, don't I? So this is my very small start. I started on the border um, and I had this whole plan. I even made up a whole graphic and I have not done anything with it. So I'm going to give myself a little grace. I will get to this. I really think this is one of those pieces and I am stitching this front piece on the cover. I think this is one of those pieces that if I just would sit down and get a nice little chunk and start seeing it develop like winter moon, winter moon had a pretty good start on it. I would work on this a little more often. So my hope is to work on this monthly and we shall see how that goes. Oh, and this is being stitched on it is being stitched on 36 count Duxbury by Fox and Rabbit with the called for DMC with one over dyed. I am a huge fan of Duxbury. I know I showed a lot of things finished on it from my parade. It has some really cool modeling. As long as you can kind of avoid some of the big, I don't really love the big, big splotches, but I tried to be very uh, careful with my cutting of my piece and I really like it. I like the modeling in this. Okay, we have another Cherry Hill Stitchery piece, and I don't know that I stitched on this one second this year, and I'm sad because I love this. This is Autumn Acres by Cherry Hill Stitchery. This is, again, another piece of vintage country mocha. This is a 25 count, so this is a little bit bigger yet. I already have a piece that I purchased from Hobby Lobby like two years ago now, uh, or a year, whatever, that I want to finish this on. Two over two, and it's really cool. All the called for floss for this one, I believe. Almost certain. It's been so long, you guys, I'm not even completely sure. I looked up the fabric. That was about all I could do. <laughs> oh, my word. And that was it for fall whips. Let's do some Halloween whips. First up, we have Midnight Watch by Blackbird. Do you think I got very much stitched on this? I'm so sad. I started on the border and I literally didn't, my fall was kind of a disaster. So I, again, this is another, I'm gonna give myself grace. This is another big piece that I, I'm not starting any other big Halloween pieces until this guy is done. I already decided. Same goes for the, like my Hello Autumn. There's not going to be another big autumn piece until I finish up some of those others. 
I am stitching Midnight Watch on 36 Count Bramble by Picture This Plus with all the called for floss. I did start up at the top with the border, but clearly this is not very interesting. That's all I got done. So, boo. Um, next up, we have The Pumpkin House by Hello from Liz Matthews. This was a new start for me this year, and I did work on this pretty hard. Here, I only worked on the top part. The unique thing about this chart is the top and the bottom are stitched on separate fabrics. You have to stitch on the same count fabric in order to be able to stitch them together correctly. But I have like the entire top at least outlined on the pumpkin house. I am stitching this, the top part of the house. I haven't started the bottom, but I do have the fabric for it. I am stitching this on 32 count haunted by Picture This Plus using all the called for NPI silks. First time using silks. I love using silks. The bottom is going to be stitched on 32 count toasted almond by Fabrics by Stephanie. I love Fabrics by Stephanie. And again, I'm really loving this. So I'm eager. This is another piece that I would really love to have done before I even think about starting any others. Because I have tons in my wish pile. I'm sure you guys do too. This, I really, I have the finishing piece for it, but this came out in 2022. This is the Salem Sisters Apothecary by Primrose Cottage. I started stitching it and I have never touched it again. Uh, so I don't know. I'm stitching on 32 count vintage country mocha. That's going to make it fit this board. I did get the finishing piece for this. I really do want to have this finished. I'm kind of sad that I've never touched it again. And it is all monochromatic. It's all black. So let's hope that I can get myself back to this guy and get that finished as well. And then my last Halloween whip is Halloween Rules by Lizzie Kate. My sweet friend Cassie shared all of the charts with me for Halloween rules. It's going to end up looking like this. All of the charts are individual. Lizzie Kate um, retired, but you can get all of these charts at 123 Stitch. They did buy the rights to them. So if you're looking to start this, I am stitching this on 25 count mushroom Lugana with the called for floss. Um, and I didn't really get to this either. I decided, even though my preference, and I will talk about this when we get to Christmas and Christmas rules, is a higher count, smaller size, finish size fabric. I have enough of this stitched that I do not want to start over. So um, I sh probably should try to work on this as well. Why are there so many beautiful things, you guys? I love this. And I really want to have this done. So um, I don't have the buttons. So I'm not worried about adding the buttons to mine. If I have find a button from just another button company that will work, that's fine. I know I'm not using the called for fabric or anything like that. So I'm okay with it. All right. It is Christmas whip time. First up, we have a new whip from this year. We have the Jingle Around the Block. This was from the Jingle Ball. So this is a block party design from Kathy of Hands On Design. Um, it is exclusive right now. These generally are released about a year after they come out. I did make a switch to mine. Instead of 28 count white linen, I am using 36 count antique white linen by Zweigart. So mine's going to end up being a little bit tinier. And I got a nice start on it, but I just never got back to this guy. 
I do want to though. Absolutely adorable. We're just gonna plop him right back in the box. Christmas is kind of, that Christmas is going away. I have some things I'm working on, but not that right at the moment. Next up, we have O oh Christmas 3. This is also by Hands On Design, which are these ornaments. My friend Shari did beautiful finish of these. And I'm still stuck on this one, but this is my priority for Christmas finishing. This will probably be a February project. I'm going to actually finish ornaments for this month's Christmas, things I've already stitched. But this will be my February uh, focus piece, but I'll be working on it during this month. I would like to get all three of these stitched. I am stitching these on 28 Count Dusk Lugana by Picture This Plus. If I'm going to stitch on a dark fabric, 32 is about as high as I can get. I have learned my lesson, but I am using color and cotton floss for this, and I love this dusk fabric. Shari has a new floss tube. She started a floss tube on her channel. I'm going to link her video right here. So give it a watch if you want to see some beautiful inspiration and how she create, kind of curated and created a whole set of things that coordinate. Next up, we have a classic Christmas, also by Hands on Design. This got stalled out. I never came back to it. This is stitched, being stitched on 36 Count Overcast by Color and Cotton. This is a club fabric. I love it. Uh, I'm using my own floss conversion. And as soon as Oh Christmas 3 is done, this is my next piece that I would like to work on. So again, a classic Christmas by Hands On Design. This next piece, I really want to, to this, this one, it should be moved up to the list of things that I need to work on immediately because it could be done super quick. From our Christmas in July Sal 2023, we did the Jingle Bell Sleigh Ride Co. And then we had bonus pieces. I stitched this guy once on an ornament, but I also want to stitch the whole thing and make it into a complimentary pillow. I've already finished Sleigh Bell's ring, but this is how far I am. I've just never gotten back to it. This is Rudolph's Reindeer Games by Cherry Hill Stitchery. And I am stitching on... I am not stitching on that. This is a lie. <laughs> I am stitching on 28 count vintage country mocha two strands over two with my own over dyed floss conversion and I love it and this will be a pillow and I've talked about that in the past and this will also be kind of up there with the two previous smalls I showed you and things that I want to get done get put away so that I can concentrate on some of these other things. Next up, we have Dear Santa by Teresa Kogut. This is a Patreon piece from, I believe this summer. And this one is going to get restarted on a different fabric. I do not like my fabric choice. Um, so I'm, this is one of those that's going to just get restarted because I love this piece. I just don't like the fabric I picked. So let's talk about my fabric. I am stitching this on 32 count paper bark and by Fox and Rabbit. And I just, okay, A, I don't want to stitch on 32 count. B, I think I want something darker that is going to show this off more. And so um, I'm going to do a restart of this. I kind of think I know what I'm going to do, but I'm not going to share quite yet. Um, and if I stitch this on 36 or probably 40, which is what I want to stitch it on, he's going to be quite a bit smaller, which is kind of what I want. So I am going to do a restart of him. I don't know when. This is actually not even going to get put back in there because, you know, 
That one is getting UFO'd. <laughs> All right. Next, we have Merry Little Christmas by Shakespeare's Peddler. This was a new design in the Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine for the holidays. And this is my start. I've showed this to you pretty recently. I just started, the chart is actually split right down the middle on one page and then the other. So I started on the right side. I started down in the bottom right corner and I'm working my way up. One strand over two on this one. I did buy this as a kit from Kitten Stitcher, Shakespeare's Peddler. And this is 40 count Earl Grey Wabi Sabi. So uh, I love this one. And again, after I kind of get that, those ornaments, this is right in line right after those. Something that I would like to finish up so that I can have a new start for <laughs> Christmas season 2024. Okay, this is a very old sampler, and I'm sad that I did not get back to this, and I, I know why. Um, although I think it would be okay now. I found this challenging to stitch on. I started this a couple of years ago, and I have just never come back to it. Not really. Not in a dedicated way. Um... I'm not UFOing it though because I do want to stitch it. This is Little House Needleworks Rudolph's Sampler. I know that I saw Kimberly of Fat Quarter Shop stitch this and that's why I wanted to stitch this because the finish either she did or um, Cheryl who works for them did. But um, I'm stitching with the called for. We are, I am stitching this on 32 count Platinum Lugana by Zweigart. And I felt like, okay, when I started this, I wasn't super comfortable with 32 count. That's how long ago this was. And it was challenging. The two strands on this fabric is a little challenging, but I don't want to restart it. I want to stitch it on this. And so, uh, and I want to get it framed. I love this. I actually just want to take it in and say, please do this. <laughs> um, but that is where we are. I should do a dedicated work on this in Christmas in July or something or Christmas in, I don't know, April. <laughs> and finally, we have another one that I started, but it's that same 32 count fabric, which is not my favorite. Don't think 32 is my, is my favorite, but whatever. Big City Christmas by Country Cottage Needleworks. So this was a series by Country Cottage Needleworks, and there is a whole village. I am stitching mine as one long piece, but you can see that I have just not made any progress at all on this. This is 32 count platinum Lugana. It's going to be long and skinny, and I do want to continue it. I just don't love 32 count. I don't know why. You know, I do know why. Some fabrics, the, the two, I don't like stitching with two strands. And I just feel like you have to on 32 count, but it's kind of tight where it's not on 28 count. I say that, but then I'm going to show you something in a little bit. I'm stitching on 32 in love. So, you know, there's that. And that is Christmas. No, it isn't. I lied. I have one more Christmas. Okay, so I lied. There's still Christmas. One more. We have Christmas Rules by Lizzie Kate. Um, I did not have a big start. I had started it on 25 count mushroom. I did switch to 40 count vintage country mocha. It is really cute to look at the different sizes here on screen. Um, again, this is just like Halloween rules. You can get all of the charts. They're individual charts at 123stitch. There, This is the free border that you can download from Lizzie Kate. I don't have any plan for when I'm going to do this. Again, my sweet friend Cassie shared these charts with me. And I 
would love to get back to this. I'd love to get this one hand Halloween done. <laughs> but I've said that now for two years. But you know what? I'll just keep working on it as I can. I really should just take this out. But I think it would almost be fun to finish this and put this on a, a project bag. I might do that. That would be kind of cute to just put this topper on a project bag. Tell me what I think. Or tell me what you think. I am stitching this on a 40 count vintage country mocha, as I mentioned. All right, we have come to miscellaneous. So miscellaneous is going to be anything from like samplers to just miscellaneous. Um, I don't do a ton of sampler stitching. First up, I have This I Know by Plum Street Samplers, and this is the most pitiful start ever. <laughs> I started at the bottom and did nothing. So there's that. I mean, this is bad, but whatever. 36 count brown sugar by fiber on a whim is what I'm stitching on, one over two. All of the called for floss. And that's all the wider it is. Girlfriend, get to stitching. Okay. So there is this I know. Which resides in the same bag as this is the day, which I haven't even started. That's fun. I started this mend block party sal with Jessica the Sweetwater Stitcher. She did this as her floss anniversary sal. And this one is going to get UFO'd, not because I don't want to stitch this. I do. I and I have a pretty big start here. I do not like this fabric. I don't like stitching on this fabric. This is a 28 count touch of blue linen and I just don't like stitching on it. So what I want to do, um, if if anyone also wants to stitch this and they want to, I'm stitching with all the called for, you'd have to get the chart and the floss, but I'd love to gift this or maybe I'll finish stitching mine or I'll stitch mine on something else and then I'll gift the chart and this. Uh, but this is going in the, we're not continuing with pile because I'm going to find something else to stitch this on. And more than likely, it's going to be a 36 or 40 count, so he's going to be tiny. But I just don't enjoy stitching. I don't like this fabric. That's all there is to it. I just don't like that fabric. But somebody else might like it. We all like different things. All right. Next up. I would love, love to get back to this beautiful chart. I hardly have a start on this either. It's Channing Street by Annie Bees. And this would probably be my first really official sampler. I only have that little corner. I love stitching on it. I just have not had a dedicated chance to stitch on it. Um, this is 36 count parchment by Fiber on a Whim. I really like fiber on a whim. I've noticed I have a lot of fiber on a whim fabrics. Um, all of the called for floss, DMC, Gentle Arts, it looks like. Yep, DMC and Gentle Arts. And I love it. I know Jessica mentioned, I think maybe we were talking and she said that she was wanting to stitch on this and maybe get it finished. So she and I may have to have a talk and encourage one another to work on that. Okay, next up. This is an old whip as well that I have not touched in quite some time. This is the, no, that was already up there on the screen. This is the Shine On Sampler by Bonnie and Camille from the Shine On Sampler Quilt Me book. This was like the second chart and I have so much done. This needs to be a dedicated piece. I need to finish it because I want to hang it in my craft room. I It's beautiful. Stitch with Cosmo Floss. Is that right? Before I say that, I'm almost certain. 
I think so. Uh, yep, Cosmo thread. And I am stitching on 25 count Think Antique White Lugana. This was when I came back to stitching and I just love it. So here, let's move the book out of the way. And let's look at the stitching. I want to frame this. I want to put it in my craft room. I am here. Let me show you where, let me show you the picture in the book. Here is the stitch. So I am right here at this blue. I have just a little bit left here. I'm right here. So I basically have what? A third to do on this? Anyway, I need to get back to it. And really, these are a lot of blocks of color. That has some color change. I mean, there's a, but it's easy stitching. This makes me want to go stitch on this right now. It really does. Because I really, really want to get this framed. I saw my friend Eva post that she was stitching on this the other day. And it made, it reminded me that I really want to get back to that. Okay, another one. This is actually, as much as I want to do shine on, this one has to come first because this is season two, A Year of Celebration Continues by Hands on Design. I also want to stitch this so it's not, you know, a bad thing at all. Um, I'm really close to being finished. I just have a couple blocks left. So let's go through it. I have January, February, March, April, May. Poor June needs to be done. We have July, August, September, October, November needs our turkeys finished and the rest of the little, you know, doohickeys here and December is done. I have loved stitching on this. This is stitched on 25 count Prim Lugana with Kimberly's Thread Pack from Fat Quarter Shop. And as I mentioned, this is not getting put back away into my buckets of whips. This is this and shine on and the next one I'm showing you are all getting put in my basket that's staying out this year um, until I'm done with these. And then maybe I can pull out some other whips. That's kind of kind of my plan for right now. All right. My last whip and you may have seen it on social media. This is the thing that got me back into cross stitch. I purchased a Moment in Chalks, the Squareology series by Hands On Design. Back, it came out in 2016, so I probably bought it then, 2017. I don't even remember where I saw it. That's how long ago it was. Um, my life was kind of in, my personal life was kind of in, had been in an upheaval had a lot of changes going on. I had a lot of kids in high school. <laughs> uh, it was just a lot. And I saw this and I was like, I want to cross stitch again. And so I finished that Americana, that the 1776 pillow that I've shared here on my channel before. That was something I'd started a long time ago. And it, I didn't even know the term whip. Um, and I saw this somewhere as I was stitching that. And I was like, I want this. And I bought it and I bought all of the charts. Each of these are all individual. So you have to get this and it does come with then the outer border that you need. And I bought this and I bought all of these. It also has just another button company buttons and gentle. I didn't even know that this floss, you guys, this is how new I was to coming back to stitching. All I knew was DMC. It, I bought the kitted up version, I suppose. I, I don't even remember how I did this. Of Gentle Arts, because it calls for Gentle Arts Floss. I didn't even know that this was called Over Dyed. I was like, oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> oh, I'm so pretty. Lenny of the Sable Stitchers always says that when, when you do something kind of silly or dumb. Oh, you're so pretty. And I, I think it all the time now. So Lenny, thank you, because it makes me laugh. Um, anywho, so that this piece is something that will be done this year. <laughs> kind of come H-E double hockey sticks or, or high water, right? I 
restarted this. I did not like the 32 count linen that I had originally bought for this, uh, the called for linen. And then I tried something else and that didn't work. And then I decided on charcoal, charcoal gray Zweigart, um, 32 count. So here's a 32 count. And this is about the max of what I can for black for sure, or gray, but I love it. So I had most of this center. I have a little bit left here. My goal for January, and I am making myself assignments, is to finish this. But what I did right before New Year's is I stitched this entire border. And then I had hoped that I could stitch all these little, the little running stitch squares for each month real quick. And I thought I could start each month so I'd have a nice start. And then I'll work on that outer scroll work border as I go. Well, these gave me a lot of trouble. I had I was real pretty then too. I had a hard time counting. And I persevered. We have all 12 boxes. And I consider this a 12 by 12 win. Because I have those done. And so my assignment for January that I even wrote down. I'm finishing this right here, which is not a whole lot. There's, I think I maybe have a tiny little couple places to backstitch. And then, of course, I have um, a little shadow to do here and the rest of this word. And there's a pretty motif in the U here. I'll show you. This right here. You can see there's some buttons that go on this. I won't add the buttons yet. And then I am going to stitch... January. And I'm going to just work on them. If I want to get ahead, I will, but that's my goal. Just do this and do January. So I'll be doing this little motif in this upper, upper little square. And I got a little start on that during my 12 by 12. So I, I'm happy with this. I really am happy with, with it. And you can see that it also has some little buttons. These won't take anything to stitch. They're tiny. And you can stitch them individually if you would prefer that. I wanted this big stitch. I want this hanging on my wall. And I thought maybe, and perhaps part of it is I thought that this really spoke to me. Each moment of the year has its own beauty. I don't know. It just kind of... It's beautiful, number one. Kathy designs beautiful things. But this really spoke to me, and I suppose part of it was it spoke to me at a time in my life where I needed that. And so it really means something, and I want to finish this. So you guys encourage me, okay? Make sure you're checking with me monthly to see how my, my pretty stitch is coming along, okay? <laughs> okay, you guys, that is it for my whips. Um hope that you enjoyed that little whip parade. Let's move on to the next portion of the video. Okay, before we get too far into January, I wanted to share the most amazing gift that my friend Jessica shared with me. Um, a few days before December 14th, a package arrived and it said, do not open until December 14th. And I was like, oh my gosh, what is this? And, um, so I waited and then opened it on December 14th and it had a card explaining it. And this was the first part of the gift. She stitched this Mad for Plaid bag for me and also for another friend. And this, so this was the day one. Inside, which I'm going to insert some videos here and it's gonna show you opening each day's content. So I'm not really gonna go through everything, um, but just kind of a peek inside. I just tucked all of my goodies down in here, except for the chocolate that disappeared real fast. <laughs> okay, let's see what is in day number three. This is day number one, just a little recap. Day number two, how cute is this? Oh my gosh, this is the best present ever. Um, let me find, oh, here it is. Okay, number three. Let me see if I can do this one-handed. Not very well. Okay, 
create blue ribbon designs of Friend and Dee. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love it. Okay. So that was day number three. I think we see a theme. I'm so excited. Okay, it's time for day four. Let's see what is in today's bag. Are these tags cute? Okay. Okay, hold on. All right. I love those. Super cute. So we got some hot cocoa mix. I love these. I think they're adorable. So, day one. Day two, day three, and day four. Time for day five. Ooh, right here. How cute is that? Okay. Let's see if I can get it one handed. Yesterday I wasn't so good. smart enough to um, do this, <sighs> apparently, before I video. Okay. Ooh, that one was really tight. Let's see what's in here. Look at that cute 
little ornament. Absolutely adorable. Okay, time to open day 10, which I pulled it out. I don't know that I can do this on the hand. Getting there. I'm gonna save that, that's pretty risky. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. This is so awesome. So so awesome. Time for the Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. Yay! I don't know if I was filming the entire time. Okay, this was day 12. And it is this amazing thread drop ring. And then, oops, upside down. Picture of Jessica Chantal and I, and um, Jessica, you are absolutely amazing. She sent, which I have never done this before, she sent the book of days, which, if I'm not mistaken, does not come spiral bound. She had it spiral bound for us, and I have never really thought about using this. I've also failed at, and I, I hate to say fail but I failed at every planning of all of the, if anything before. So I'm not using this as a planner. Um, I have something that I'm using as a planner. It's not pretty. I decided to just scrap the trying to be pretty with my planning because that's not working for me where I'm at right now. Uh, and it's just very functional, which is fine. That's great. This is a record. I'm using this as a record of my stitching this year. I want, because when I went to do my 2023 finish parade, um, that was hard. I, I had to guess I had to, I had to go through my videos and that's the only place I really had a good record of what I did. So I am using this as a record keeper and a daily, like, this is what I stitched. I can manage that. I can manage, uh, I stitched on this today. And then I'm going to show you, I'm going to turn my camera and I'm going to show you how I am utilizing this um, so that it works for me. So again, you open it up and it has this, she got the, I'm sure put the little cover thing on it. And I love that it's spiral bound because it makes it very usable. And I am going to need to zoom out because this is too big. So I did decorate it. And I've also almost, I've decorated several of the months and I will show you the ones I have decorated or that I started and I'll show you, but I wanted to show you where I'm at in this planner right now and how I'm utilizing it. Um, I use some washi stickers. I will put links for anything I use that's available down in the description in case you're interested. Obviously, this one has a very sewing stitching theme to it. I just use the washi, their washi stickers um, to decorate different sections. I kept it pretty simple. I did use some washi tape to divide each of these lines. I used some washi stickers for the days. There are days printed on here. It looks like, well, like this. And I just covered them up with these stickers. 
that was a last minute addition. I decided I liked it. Um, but I am writing what I'm doing, obviously, each day. But then you'll notice that I have highlight. I need to go in and highlight these. But I have a key over here. That's what I'm calling it. So I have new starts. Those are in pink. Finishes are going to be in orange. FFOs are in yellow. And sows are in green. Whips are in blue. So hands-on design, a moment in chalk, I worked on New Year's Day. A little bit more because I'd started on New Year's Eve. That's a whip. That was highlighted in blue. I started my New Year's stitch, Winter Berries in Pine, on New Year's Day. That is pink. And that way I can easily see that I'm not, it won't be in pink for the other days. For the other days now, it's just going to be um, a whip color because obviously now it's a whip. I can easily see that. But you can see down here, I put new starts, finishes, FFOs. And at the end of the month, I will tally those. So that when I go to do this year's 2023 finish, I can look at this and go, okay, this is what I did this. Here's my finishes. Gather those up. I think it's going to work really well. It's For me, it's record keeping. This is not planning. This is record keeping. So um, for me, even though this may not match my the vibe great, like, or the, the, the colors, <laughs> this little highlight thing works really good for me. Um, keeping track of all of the things. So that's how I'm doing this. You can see kind of what I worked on for the week. Now on two or yeah, Tuesday, the snow magical FFO, because I had my video for that on this day. So this was FFO would and it needs to be highlighted in yellow. And I'll repeat this each month. But I can easily then, those are going to pop out at me. And I can easily add this at the end of the month, how many different ones I had. I'm just going to put like, let's say I have, you know, four new starts, three finishes, and two FFOs. I don't know. I can easily write that down and it'll be a great way to go back and look at it every month. So this is my January spread. I am going to do all of my spreads. I don't have them all done now, but I'll show you. I'll probably show all of them once I do, but I'll show you what I have so far. Here's my February spread. And I added lots of washi to this one too. My dog, okay, the reason that this is kind of wrinkly is because it got wet because um, Frank got out in the snow and dripped water on this and I had to let it dry. So I did January, February, and then I skipped. I actually had some washi stickers I wanted to use, so I did November. I know that's crazy. I um, added my little turkey for Thanksgiving, but I really liked how November turned out. That might be my favorite so far. And then I wanted to do October because I love Halloween, but I also had some bees <laughs> washies. So I did start this one last night, but it's not all the way done. You'll notice that that big block I'm using kind of as my kind of as my decorative area, but I added some stickers. I will add the washi strips. I decided I think I'll do that every month. I kind of like how it looks. It just adds a little bit of color, and then I'll finish adding everything here. I haven't done any of this yet. If you guys want to maybe even see me finish one of these, can you let me know down in the comments? I'd be happy to uh, do a video and just throw it up here on my channel and show you exactly how I decorate this. But my plan is to have all of the months decorated here pretty soon. I don't have a set schedule. Uh, that way I don't ever have to worry about, oh my gosh, I need to go in and, and get it decorated. So um, obviously February is ready to go. And I try to just do a theme every month for fun. I can add extra stickers as I want to if there's things going on like birthdays or or whatever. Um, like in November, I will probably, or if there's big, like birthday starts or anything like that. So I will add a, some sort of a, a commemorative sticker for my birthday start. Um, I didn't add anything for my January 1st start, but that's okay. But if there are any, you know, big commemorative things that I start, I will add those in here. But here's just a look at how the book of days, and again, 
not a planner. Um, there's some extra pages back here for writing things. But, and I, I, I didn't do December, I probably because we were just there. I don't know. I even have some stickers I want to use. But I was inspired, so I did start to, well, where did it go? Oh, here it is. I did start to do August, and I think these bees are so fun. Anyway, let me know down in the comments if you would like to see me do decorate any of these pages, and I might include that here on my channel. So I'm just using a clip to kind of keep me on my page. And that is my book of days. Okay, let's do some giveaways. All right, so these giveaways are all from Floss Tube 67. First, we have the winner of the Shannon Christine Hot Cocoa Christmas baking and then uh, charts. And then we have some 32 count black fabric. The winner of this is Sue B. So Sue, if this is your comment here on the screen, you are the winner. Please email me at the email down in the description below. Next, we have the Little House Needleworks Winter Petites and then also some Historic Beige Fabric. I was doing some bundles the last time. The winner of this is Kim Turner. Kim, if that is your comment, please email me at the email down in the description below. Then we have Lady Claws and also some beautiful, this is some color in cotton. It was a limited edition fabric and it is 32 count. It would be beautiful stitched on this, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be so pretty? The winner of this is Autumn Jewel. Autumn, if that is your comment, please email me. And then we have the chart Millie's dresses from Lori Holt. This is Fat Quarter Shop, um, a BMI bonnet, and it's so Emma. This is a quilt pattern. And the winner of this is Tina Ford. So Tina, if that is your comment. Please email me. And then I have a Mirabelia that a generous viewer shared. The winner of the Mirabelia is Elizabeth E. Elizabeth, if that is your comment, please email me. And then we had the awesome 2023 limited edition Jolly Box from Fat Quarter Shop. It, it does not have the charm in it. It will have the coupon code. I've not used it, but I am shipping this in something else so that I can ship it a little bit cheaper. So keep that in mind. I will include all of the contents minus the charm. And the winner of this is Anne Craft All the Things. Anne, if that is your comment, please email me. All right. And again, those were all from Floss Tube 67. I thought it's a new year. Let's have a lot of giveaways today. So I have 10 giveaways for you. So I picked five cross stitch and five um, quilt patterns. And all of the things, mo no, no, quite a few of the things have been donated, but not everything. Now to be entered, please like the video. Please subscribe to my channel. Please be over 18 since I do have to mail your prize out to you and please be a U.S. resident. Use the word that you'll see across the screen when I show you these items in uh, somewhere in your comment, I do use the word in the random comment picker to choose the winners. 
You have until January 17th, 2024 at 8 a.m. Central Time to leave a comment to be considered for this giveaway. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive in to this week's giveaways. First up, I have some 28 count chalkboard black Wichelt linen. If you would like to win this, use the word chalkboard somewhere in your comment. Next, I have some more Wichelt linen in 28 count. This is the color Stony Point. If you would like to win this, use the word Stony somewhere in your comment. And these pieces are both 18 by 27, both of those. Next up, I know I mentioned this during my whip parade, but I have a couple of whips that I have removed from my rotation. So if you would like the December month to month from Stitching with the Housewives, this is the floss that I have with it. I have no idea if this is all of the floss or not. It might be. So here's the floss. Here is my start. You don't have to finish it if you don't want to. You can start on your own. But if you would like this chart whatever floss I have here and my little start, use the word December somewhere in your comment and I will send you that. And then I have another one. So I have the January stitching with the housewives month to month with the darling little snowman. I have whatever floss, again, whatever floss is with this I don't know if it's all of it, probably, but I'm not going to guarantee that. And then I had the teeniest tiny start on that. If you would like this, and even if you just pitch this because you don't want it for either one of those, um, use the word January somewhere in your comment if you would like to win that. I just thought I'd offer it in case it could be a joint effort, you know. Nicole started it, you finished it. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, and finally, I have a viewer sent this. This is 30 Count Creek Bed Brown by R&R, &R, and it's not quite a full yard because a little bit has been cut out, but I think it's mostly, I mean, there's a lot of fabric here. If you would like to win this, use the word creek somewhere in your comment. You could do a ton of projects on with that fabric. Okay, for my quilters, I have a bunch of Fat Quarter Shop charts. So I have do -si do here. If you would like to win do -si do leave do -si do somewhere in your comment. This is a really cute one. I really like this one. And it comes in small lap, large lap, twin and queen sizes are on the back. So again, use do -si do for that. Then we have Foxtrot. If you would like Foxtrot, of course, leave Foxtrot somewhere in your comment. I like this one too because the pattern is the block and then the, the decor decorative part, but the, the shape, the stars and things um, are that solid creamy fabric. I mean, you could do it however you want. That's the great thing about, about these. Castle Courtyard. If you would like Castle Courtyard, use the word castle somewhere in your comment. And I love the design of this one as well. I have the hiccups again. If you would like Alpine Blooms, use, no, not that, use Alpine somewhere in your comment. And finally, we have this wonderful tail feathers. I love this one. It's big shapes, but I think it would make just amazing 
an amazing quilt. Use the word feathers somewhere in your comment if you would like to win tail feathers. Okay, so again, you have until January 17th at 8 a.m. Central Time to leave a comment in order to be considered for one of those 10 prizes. Thank you guys so much for spending some of your day with me. I appreciate you all so much. Um, I hope you enjoyed this whip parade. And again, my plans for this year are just to, I don't have super set plan, I guess. Other than we are going to feature Christmas once a month somewhere here on my channel. I will have some sort of a tutorial. This month it will be a finishing tutorial um, for ornaments. Pardon me. Finishing tutorial for ornaments. Sometimes it will just be stitching updates, which I am going to do as well. But I want to really work on some of those whips. I am not one that's going to say I am not stitching anything new. I know I'm going to stitch new things. But I would really like, as I look through all of those, and I've seen this over and over again in, in other people's whip parades, I started most of these, not most, I started all of these things for a reason. And almost, I would say 95% of them, I still really, really, really love and want to stitch. And the ones that I didn't, I really kind of cleared out. And it, and it may have been for such a like a fabric reason or, you know, just something wasn't quite working and I would still like to give it a go. So it's okay to change your mind, but my goal is to not bounce around quite so much. For me personally, I'm starting to feel a little overwhelmed about my whips and that can be different for everyone, how they feel about the number of whips that they have. I know some people are monogamous stitchers and, and they can't do that. And I have been very clear um, all along why monogamous stitching does not work for me um, because I quit stitching for almost 20 years because I thought I had to finish it or I couldn't do something else. And that's just silly. <laughs> that's just silly. I, I'm not doing that to myself. Um, so I I want to finish a couple of those big pieces that I showed you. Those are very definitely um, goal pieces and pieces that are um, something that I really, really want to do this year. And that will also give me, give myself permission if I want to start some other larger pieces, then great. I'm sure I will scatter smalls throughout, but honestly, I just feel like don't, don't make too many hard and fast rules for myself. Um, I like to stitch in season. Next week, I will be sharing Valentine's charts. Does that mean that that is, I'm going to stitch all of those this year? No. I'm going to show you what I have in my I would love to stitch stash uh, for Valentine's. Some of that may be things that I will stitch this year. Some of it is just dreams and wishes and um the possibilities. We're going to call it the 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 uh, Valentines of possibilities. We'll have the Easter stitches of possibilities, the patriotic stitches of possibilities, Christmas stitches of possibilities. That's how I like to look at it. Um, but I will be sharing with you what I have and what is like, um, what's lighting me on fire, what has me wanting to stitch it. In case it maybe you see something that you want to stitch as well. And I'll kind of talk about the rest of my, what the rest of my January will look like. I've already told you about my moment in chalk. I have an assignment for that. I think I'm going to go a little bit more the assignment route because that gives me multiple projects, but I focus on just a few a month. Now, if I finish a small, then I'm going to have some others in the wings waiting to work on. Right now, I'm working on winter berries and pine. Um, it was an exclusive from Brenda Gervais' website. Um, so I know that not everybody has that one. I will share my progress in next week's video when we kind of get back to our regularly scheduled programming. Um, so I'm working on that till I'm done. I have some other winter stitches I would like to do, but I, I'm really looking ahead to Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is always here before we know it. I do like decorating for Valentine's Day. Um, 
for me, I just like hearts and my paper crafters know this already. So anything pink and red, pink, red, and aqua, I'm here for it. Uh, look for that next week where I'll share my favorite Valentine's charts and stitches. I'll share all my whips. Um, we'll share the wrap up of the Snow Magical Sal. I am going to put right here uh, a link to my finishing tutorial if you haven't caught it already. I have a lot of fun content planned for you. There will be a whole series on felt stitching. I know you guys have asked for it. And so that is going to start later this month. I've been filming like crazy. So I'm excited to show that. I won't be showing those projects until after the videos for each of those have gone up. I have several. Um, so look for those coming as well. Um, I have a sewing tutorial that I would like to, a couple of them that I want to share with you. So I hope everyone has been um, or had a wonderful holiday season. I wish you all a fantastic start to 2024. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here. I have not forgot my 100k subscriber um, big giveaway palooza. That is coming a little bit later this month. It's just a little bit more work than I thought it was going to be and I would like to do it in, a, in the way that I want to do it. And I don't want to just throw it up there. So uh, that will come a little later this month. I do have a little girls weekend planned. Um, so it will be after that. And I am excited to share about that when I get home as well. So I hope all of you have a wonderful rest of your weekend or a good start to your week if you're watching this on Monday or Tuesday or whenever you're watching it. And I will be back next week with another floss tube episode. Bye everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, click that like button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to always be notified when I have a new floss tube stitching or quilting video. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and we'll see you next time.